On this RV decor and organization, we're going to be talking RV decor. What works, what doesn't. Okay, to start with, you're gonna hear a dog barking in the background. And it is not Vail, and it is not Aspen. It is our neighbor's dog. When I'm in the house, I don't hear him. But when I'm in the camper, he's right there. On this video, I wanted to talk about RV decor. What works, what doesn't work, and what you need to know about decorating your RV. The first thing, I want to say about decorating your RV, there is no right or wrong. I see people all the time asking, do you like this or this better? And uh, personally, it's your rig. You have to do what you like because everyone has a different opinion. I don't expect all of you to like my decor. There's people that like ecle eclectic, oh, I can't even say that word, eclectic design. There's people that like modern. There's people that like farmhouse. There's people that like lodge look. So there's all kinds of different looks. And well, needless to say, it doesn't matter what anybody else thinks. It's what you like and if you enjoy it. First thing is do what you want to do and enjoy in your camper. Now, Here's a few guidelines to go by while you're decorating your camper. One, you want items that are lighter weight. You don't want anything super heavy and you don't want them breakable. Those are a few requirements that you would like to have for your RV. Now this is if your RV is not permanent. If you're on a permanent, <laughs> but the heaviest, biggest thing you want in your camper because you're not towing it anywhere. If you are going to be towing it and it is going to be moving, you do want lighter weight and you do want non-breakable items. I hope you end up subscribing because I have quite a few options and some different decor ideas that I'm going to share with y'all over the next year that I really think y'all will enjoy and it will help you out and make sure you stay light but be stylish. Now, as far as the breakable items, I do not put any pictures up that have glass in them. I make sure the glass is out of them, except for one. I do have one <laughs> and it's over there. But I like really, you don't need anything with glass that's on your walls because if it falls off, it's gonna break. It's not a question if, it's when it's gonna fall off. I promise that and I know that with that picture over there. One day, it's gonna fall off and break. And I'm gonna be sad because I love that picture. Everything else I have, I have taken the glass out of the picture frames. You can hang pictures in your RV. The ways to hang pictures is command strips, nano tape. Those are the two best ways to hang pictures in your RV. And both work quite a bit different. I've learned here in the South, the nano tape actually works better than the command strips because this picture up here is probably gonna fall down in a minute and hit me in the head because it has done falling off three times this week. And it's put up with command strips that I have some nano tape ordered <laughs> because I had ran out. I use it way too much. But I did a video comparing the nano tape and the command strips and I will link that video for you so you can go and watch that when this video is done. A way to secure items down when you're moving and you don't have to worry about having to put them up every time you go through the earthquake to take it to the next campsite is museum putty and nano tape. Both of those work for that. Museum putty is probably my favorite. My only problem is if it's not a really good sealed surface, it can leave a residue on that surface. Nano tape, if it's a sealed surface or not sealed, it works great. But if it's fake wood, it will peel it off. There's no magic product that's not gonna possibly mess up something, but those are my two go-tos, nano tape and museum putty. And like I said, I have items down with nano tape and down with museum putty. Both work great, but both have their place. If you want to do decor, without actually painting 
or doing anything, I have a video about that and I will link it. But great ways to do this is with peel and stick wallpaper. Peel and stick wallpaper, you can pick it up anywhere and if you end up not liking it, you can peel it down and throw it away. Peel and stick wallpaper, I'm going to go ahead and tell you, I've bought some and it just rolls right off and I've bought other and it has stayed great. The one that I put in my bathroom, it has stayed up so good. But then I had originally had some in our bedroom before I remodeled it this last time and it was rolling down the walls. I prepped both of them the same. They just came from different places. The one that was peeling down my wall came from Walmart and then the one that in my bathroom that has held up wonderfully. Aww. This is the wallpaper. I absolutely love it. It has grays and browns in it so it ties everything in our camper together because we have a 2018 and it has a lot of brown but I wanted to bring in the grays as well. Almost everybody ends up taking the curtains down that comes in the camper and I did here as well and I use drop cloths to start with and these I love. I think they're so pretty. But then I wanted to redo my balances because they were big and had like this big brown thing on them and I wanted to pull the gray in. I found this fabric and I did that again. I will link the video <laughs> and if I run out of uh, video link spots, I'll put them in the description box. Well, I absolutely, these, these, I, it was like $22 and I changed out all the balances and put this fabric on it and it was super, super easy anybody can do it. Now I don't love the curtain. If uh, you want to see my new curtains and I'm kind of giving you a sneak peek, then subscribe because I'm going to be posting this video in a few weeks. I'm going to show you how I use these towels to make me new curtains. When it comes to decor, a lot of times in an RV, decor, you won't function. So something that is actually pretty and uses as decor, but yet it functions as another purpose is a great item to put in your RV. We took out our dining room table because we never sat at the dining room table ever, except for me, I sat there to edit video or be on my computer. Well, when you were sitting at the dining room table, I was looking this way or that way. I wanted to look out the window and enjoy the beautiful views of the places that were parked. So I built this desk, again, link. <laughs> I'm going to do that a bunch, sorry. I have a lot of decor videos I've done, so you're going to see it. I built this table so that we can look out the window, and if we needed to sit here and eat, we could. We have never sat at the table and eaten. We don't miss it, and I love having this desk because I can sit here and enjoy the view of wherever we're parked. A great way to decorate your camper without doing anything is put pillows rugs, those things can totally change the space without changing much. I have my ottoman here. It is a great place to store things on travel day, but yet it is function. It can be a seat, it can put your feet on it, and you can store things in it. So it is, has a great function and it looks cute. Here in the bathroom I added pillow and stick towel. That is another great way to add some color and not mess up anything. Because again, if you don't like it, you can just peel it off. This shelf that I added, obviously, is decor, but it has function. We can hang so many towels across here, and I love how this turned out. This is screwed into the wall. I did not use command strips because I didn't think that it would hold up with command strips, and I didn't trust it to hold up with command strips. So I opted to screw it to the wall and I just made sure I didn't use really long screws. I love how this turned out. One of the biggest projects that I have tackled is redoing our bedroom up here. And I have a whole series that I will link for you about what I've used and what I did in our bedroom. This is our biggest project so far. We took out the queen size bed and made a king size bed and that was one of the things that we loved the most. I know a lot of people don't like it because you can't get around it. I've said it before and I'll say it again. For a good night's sleep for me and Bill and the two dogs in this bed, it being a king has been a game changer. The only thing that we missed was a shelf 
for Bill's Coffee, which I thought those shelves were gonna work, and they didn't. So I added a shelf. When it comes to your camper, don't feel bad to fail. You're gonna do projects and you're not gonna like them. Just change it and make it where you want it to go. Don't be afraid to fail. There's so much RV decor that you can do on a budget and I plan on showing y'all some of those over the next year. I hope you enjoyed this video. Till next time, like and subscribe.